I kind of appreciate marker lights and along the way I collected up a couple or two or three and they should be right in here somewhere let's see if we can find them it's not these ones these ones are those little cheap lights like you used to get at western auto they ain't much to them i remember buying lights like that and putting them on a pickup truck back when i was a kid these ones here are the real deal these are uh, kind of trailer truck marker lights now i was thinking that they'd look good on here like this maybe it gives it that old style trailer truck kind of look yeah it does i got one for each side i believe i tested these and they worked but we can test them again if they don't work we can make them work because i got marker light fixing skills i've done quite a few of them in, in my time out on the road and elsewhere Oh yeah, y'all see that light up? Put it where you can see it. Well, that lights up real nice. There's one. Let's get that other one. See if it works. And this this should be a pretty easy install. Just uh, shoot a couple of tech screws and screw them into the front of that refrigerator. And run the wire down inside of it. Uh, I kind of like to get a bolt instead of a tech screw because the tech screws can rub loose however see that one works too however i don't know if i can get my arm that far up in there to get a nut and a bolt i would have to reach ah, let's go up under here take this out before i sit on my phone and break it I might can reach I don't know I'd have to reach up underneath the refrigerator see there's a hole up under there it goes between the refrigerator and the outside skin and I can reach my hand I like to see myself in the mirror y'all see me up there I can actually kind of reach my arm up in there goodly boys Alright, I'm guessing my fingertip is about right there and I want it to be up there, but I might be able to attach a screw to a magnet and get one to reach up in there. Maybe. Ow, and maybe too, if I raise the front of this up, I could get it where I could reach my arm up in there. Because then my arm wouldn't be bent and I could reach straight in if I could get the front end up high enough. Let's, uh, let's uh, study on this a little bit more. Let's see what we think. I'm gonna go ahead and stick these on here. I may wind up coming back later. Well, I know I'm gonna have to come back to make a hole in the back for the wire to go through. But as far as placement goes and everything, I'm just gonna put them on here and then uh, and then we'll look at what comes after that. Hold the joy. I may wind up changing these screws like I was talking about too. I might want to put something with a bolt on the back side of it. But we will see, won't we? side over there has a, uh, a hinge on it which causes it to sit a little lower. I may lower this one so that they match. Uh, Look at the back side now. I also thought about I might want to add some lights back there. Uh, and there, uh, let's look at how bright those lights are. Because I think I think they're just going to be like running lights. These are some of those lights that I mentioned were kind of cheap lights. 
And the kind of thing that used to be able to buy at Western Auto when I was a kid for a few bucks. They're not terribly, terribly bright. But I was thinking about putting them on the back of this trailer. I was kind of looking at that the other day. Uh, let me move you all around. Back here. Kind of see what I'm seeing. I don't know if this is a good place for y'all or not. Well, let's see. I think I put them here, but that would be right underneath that tag, wouldn't it? Maybe up here. Maybe on the side, like that. That might actually be pretty good. I think that I think I could get this where the tag would fit behind that. Yeah, that might be good. You could also do it up here. A couple of lights up here. Or down here maybe. Hmm. Or maybe down here. That would be low enough to be out of the way of the tag. It almost looks like a almost looks like a tractor trailer. You know, back in the old days you'd have mud flaps on the back of your truck. A lot of times people put lights on them and they'd be hanging down. It reminds me of an old-fashioned mud flap on the back of a tractor trailer. That could be uh that could be good too. That could work. Hmm. What I'll do on this one is shoot a hole through here first to run my wire through. Use a screw to make the hole. <clears throat> kind of reminds me of an old motorcycle fender with that on there. Run that wire right through that hole. Wow, oh, yeah. that looks good. Do one on the other side over there. I wonder if I can line these holes up without a measuring tape. Oh, well, again, I'm pretty, pretty clever that way, but I suppose if I used a measuring tape, I'd get the approval of Rusty Acres and Big Daddy. I'm pretty sure Big Daddy would approve of me more if I did that. On the other hand, Cutworm probably appreciate it if I didn't use a measuring tape because that would be more semi unprofessionalish. Kind of like that little light on the back back there. So the light comes out, and what I'm doing is pull this wire sideways that way I can see where the wire hole is. And then generally, my rule of thumb is if it looks right, it is right. Fenders have bent up a little bit, so I suppose. I mean, it ain't gonna matter all that much, is it? Because it's gonna be right anyway. It's bent up fender. do not matter too much. Hmm. Yeah, I like that, I think. So. Oh, that looks about right. Looks enough for. That was enough for government work. There we go. To my eye, one looks like it's hanging at a little different angle, but the fender's bent down at the bottom. This one's not, so. When you stand up, they don't really look that way. And even if they did, what are you going to do about that? I'm not going to beat that fender act back into some kind of shape. So, I guess the next thing to do is work on getting a wire down in this one. Uh, I'll need a bigger hole because I'm going to have to splice a wire to go down through there. I can do that though. I've got the scales. I'm going to use the same method make those holes that I did with the mothers. I want to get me some little splicer pieces and it would make sense to use 
colored wire, color coded wire, and color coded to match the uh, the thing. Like uh, what did we say? The left. Could make that blink. I think I like it as a running light though. So yellow light, yellow wire would be the running light. I've got one piece here. Not that it's gonna matter too much up in there. Got a couple pieces of wire here. You see, I think I like this one better. It's a little longer. Right here. Yeah. Over there. And that's a pretty neat little connection and I've got me some uh, heat shrink to put over it so I'm gonna sort of that right there that looks pretty good Same way. Swing the trailer around like that. Put a little shrink wrap on both sides of that. So that nice young feller came and uh, got the lawnmower. It made him happy as could be. And I was just about to uh, uh, heat shrink these wires here. Here he goes. Ah! <laughs> we'll do that right now. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> and then I'll, uh, I'll pop this off, make a hole in the middle, and we'll shoot them through. Is that working? <coughs> this might not be a very good lighter, I don't know. There she goes. Okay. Okay. Might be about time to knock off and have lunch. Oh, joy. So what I'm doing here is using the uh, <clears throat> screws to make a hole under the light back here for this wire. To go into I just shoot one of these little screws in there and then shoot this big screw in there they drill their own holes and then I stick the wire down in that hole and put these back on up to the other side That seems like a pretty good place to knock off. Uh, yeah, I got my all my lights bolted on good. All the wires are run down into there. I tightened up these little boogers here. The wires for that go down in the fender. The wires for this go down inside the body, and I can reach them from up under there. So tomorrow I'll put the, the plug up here, run the wire down in here connected to the running lights and the turn signals and the brake lights 
and uh, neaten up all the wires and I believe after that she'll be ready to uh, almost ready to go on the road I want to attach a couple of little fire extinguishers uh, on either side of it like something like that uh, just because a lot of car shows require you to have a fire extinguisher to keep the car safe and I think it, it's a good look on the trailer to have them there and uh, you can get little side mounts to connect them in there where they stay in place well uh, so yeah um, yeah, I might figure out a little different way to mount those instead of the side mounts. I might have them go down in a cup that I can pull them out of, but something that's firm enough to hold them. And uh, I want to fasten this toolbox down steady so it won't come off there when I'm going down the road. Uh, after that, I guess I'll be ready to take her to a car show. Of course, there won't be any until summer and there may not be any then depending on how this virus thing goes but uh, oh it'd be nice to see what everybody else has been building in the meantime so there's that hope y'all having a good day love y'all and uh, i'll talk to you more tomorrow bye now